So one of our big discussions we always like to do at the start of a year is predictions for what is going to happen and theories and all that. And of course, with 2021 being the official return of Marvel Studios and this time in full force, there's going to be a Hopefully. lot to talk about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hopefully. Oh um, we're going to have a lot to talk about specifically with theories ideas and which way we think they're gonna go and uh we're just kind of here gonna spitball i guess most of phase four with some theories you might have heard of of some of your own and what do you think is gonna happen so i guess i'll start first and uh one i'm gonna say and i, I don't know why i feel like something yeah, are, are we starting from like one division and working our way you know resort? just do whatever honestly how, whatever you, it comes to your mind, feel free to uh, state it and go with it. And I'm going to say that I think Shang-Chi and... I mean Shang-Chi. Sh Shang-Chi. Uh, apparently, we've all been saying it wrong <laughs> for so long. Um, I'm going to make a prediction that the Ten Rings, you know, the Ten Rings... Yeah. ...are actual space rings related to the Please. Eternals. Please. Um... Yeah, I could see the eternal bit tie everything a bit more, and, but they need to be space rings. They, yeah, they need to be. And the only reason I'm going with this, the only reason is, I look at the ten rings. And it's like okay, there's clearly ten of them. That's why they're the ten rings. And I look at how they could position them through different civilizations because that mm -hmm. is a thing. Certain civilizations had certain colors and stones that they like, kind of almost like that was their place because. That certain that geological the Chinese have J stones and all that. Right. right. You think of that, and then you look at the Eternals. There's ten main Eternals, and they're like, "Oh, we're touching hmm. upon this place. We're going to touch upon this place, which all of them match up with certain colors of those stones." I'm like, "There's either it's going to be coincidental, or you know, if they haven't done that. I'm going to be disappointed." In that. Right? Like it just ruined those two movies for me completely. I, that connection to me just seems very apparent. Like yeah, maybe I'm just yeah. looking at it too much as a comic book nerd fanboy, but I'm like, if they were to connect that, that suddenly makes the Eternals more important to that, but also makes Shang Chi and Mandarin more important to all of that within yeah, itself, yeah. and like the ruler behind the scenes this entire time, like makes him OP as well. Like, yeah, it does. Mandarin was never a pushover in the first place. Those rings were busted, mm -hmm. but like that that makes him. One hell of a threat. You could also kind of make Fing Fang Foom a deviant. This oh. his comic aesthetic kind of fits what they've gone for. Yeah, that we've seen from the Lego sets for Eternals. Honestly, yeah. Huh. That would be interesting too. So that's like one of my theories and predictions. I to me it just fits. I don't know why, but that's one no, of the first I, things I like, like I looked at. I was like. This would work for me. Um, so you started that off, and I was like, "No, <laughs> it's it, <not> actually." <laughs> yeah, well, I don't. It just actually, it just fits. It, it it fits for me. Um, what what do you think though? What theory you got? Um, see, I, I couldn't think of one for Eternals, but I, I I like that one, tying it into Mandarin and all that. Um, I'm tr I, I'm still hung up on where One Division is gonna go, because I don't believe she's gonna do the mutant thing. I, I just can't buy she's going to be the reason why mutants are a thing in the MCU. Mm -hmm. I know people are touting this. Oh, look, the, the stone's just going to unlock her mutant powers, but everything's pointing to a more magic sense than a mutation sense. Mm -hmm. So I think that's where they're going to take it. How it's going to position there afterwards, I think that's the big question I have, but hmm. I haven't got a theory on exactly where like is she going to be more antagonistic role to everyone because in the comics she kind of is if you think about it like especially for the x-men like rogue she's very much do you think maybe they could in a weird way make her a part villain for doctor strange too like the scarlet witch mm. is well because of... like like it, it, it ties in it, kind of like the ten rings and that your eternals idea she gets her powers in the comics from Cthulhu or whatever it is, the demon in Wondergore Mountain. Mm -hmm. So you can easily tie that into the show. Like it fits with Doctor Strange. You know, she gets taken over by, by the end of the, sh the show by this demon, and she, that's why she's like, I can't see wandering or consciousness breaking the multiverse by accident. Mm. Like she's had, she's having enough time to 
do all this stuff in this show that we've seen her do, like warp like the TVs from like the different decades and everything. Because mm-hmm. she's clearly the reason why everything's changing because she wants it to change. Like breaking the whole multiverse at that point, I, I don't know. Like maybe if they like mentally make a snap, but what's going to cause that snap? You could bring in a demon that takes her over, and it just ties everything all nicely up in the bow, and then you can have her be. Like not the secondary villain in Doctor Strange, but she's she's obviously in that movie for a reason. Yeah, and she's obviously setting up a movie called Multiverse of Madness for a reason. Yeah, <laughs> whether that reason is because she's taking the stone from somewhere else to give to Vision, and it's more of an innocent whoops sort of a thing. Oh man, I don't know, but I think it'll be a bit. Um, no, that's kind of dumb for that character to do at that point. Uh-huh. Now, if we have a demon like take her over and make her more of an attack, like, antagonistic role, I think that's more interesting for that character. Mm-hmm. And it gives her more of a reason to be in Mighty vs. Madness. But then how Spider-Man plays into all that, I don't know. If maybe he's just purely like, oh, I, I'm a repercussion of what's happened in that show. Yeah. Uh, sort of a movie. He's the in between between uh, point A and point B. Yeah, he, he got like, just stuck in the middle of everything. He's like, oh, God damn yeah. it. Yeah. Like, he, he's the movie, which I suppose it makes sense. Like, oh, hey, I, I'm the movie that shows you the repercussions of what just happened while we wait over for Doctor Strange to come out. Mm-hmm. Is that movie could be delayed again because they have to stop production. Even yeah. Though they could still film over here despite the lockdown, but yeah, I suppose, I suppose it's good that they're not, just just in case. But Because mm-hmm. that's another one. What is Spider-Man going to do? Like, what is going on with that movie? 